I'm grateful for this honor and recognition for the university and uh, feel that it will help increase our visibility in the country for the things that we're doing. I'm grateful for uh, the judges in McGraw-Hill for uh, recognizing our work. In particular, I'm grateful for a bunch of governors who um, let me realize a life's dream. I'd spent my whole career trying to integrate technology and education. And uh, when they invited me, with the support of 19 governors and 20 corporate leaders to create a new kind of university, it was an opportunity of a lifetime. And grateful for Governor Levitt to be here tonight as we uh, recognize this. WGU really represents a new model in higher education. And we need a new model in higher education. Uh, I think we need to start with why a new model is needed, because for most of us in this room, our children have done just fine going to traditional uh, four-year universities and uh, being residential students and spending full-time earning degrees, uh, if you're lucky, in four years. Um, but the traditional age college student, uh, residential attending campus, now represents 25% of the students attending higher education institutions in the country. And it's the other 75% that we're concerned with, those who have to fit it in the cracks of their lives, who have to work, who live in rural areas without access to, to college, who can't afford to set aside four or five years and just dedicate their time to education. Only 38% of adults in this country have a college degree. And by the year 2018, seven and a half years from now, 60% of the jobs will require post-secondary education. That's a gap that we have to fill in this country, and we can't fill it uh, doing it the way we've always, always done it. In particular, we need to serve working adults. There's now 22 million working adults who have some college but no degree and lack that certification that will enable them to gain a job that, frankly, supports a family. It costs too much. Uh, higher education tuition is increasing. Uh, it's the only thing, I think, increasing faster than health care costs. And it's been increasing five percentage points a year faster than inflation, um, and has been for the last 10 or 20 years. The unemployment rate for college graduates is 4.5%. Uh, obviously, for the rest of the country, it's in excess of 10%. Uh, and so we simply have to educate more of our citizens. The graduation rate for African Americans, uh, th I mean, those who have degrees, is less than 30%. For Hispanics, it's less than 20%. And so the governors came together to say, we need to create a different model of higher education that will be more cost effective, that will meet the needs of these citizens that are not being met by our traditional universities. We represent a new model not because we're online education. Everybody does online education. Uh, the first great innovation was what we call competency-based education. And as explained in the video, Really simply, everybody comes to higher ed knowing different things and everyone learns at a different rate. In fact, we individually learn different subjects at a different rate. And so all WGU has done is, as opposed to holding time constant, we define what we expect a graduate to know and be able to do. We develop assessments to measure that. We provide modular computer-based curriculum so that students can study at their own pace. And when they can demonstrate competencies, they graduate. The second big innovation, frankly, the first is only doable because of technology, which allows us to individualize education to individual students, allows us to measure competencies. But the difference is that 98% of the online education in this country is using technology only as a wire to deliver classroom education. So it's still a teacher and 30 students on the other end of the wire and the same syllabus and the same course and submit your assignments electronically. And then we spend millions of dollars doing studies to show that online education is as good as classroom education. As though classroom education is good enough. And it isn't for so many of our citizens in this nation. We're actually using the technology to teach, to change the cost of higher education, to change the time required for higher education. And the result of that is that our we're self-sustaining on tuition as a private nonprofit university. 
Tuition is $5,800 for a 12-month year. Students go year-round. We're self-sustaining on that tuition. And the average time to graduation with a bachelor's degree is 30 months, as opposed to 55 months nationally. And that entire difference is because we free students up to demonstrate what they already know, spend their time learning what they don't know, and to learn it at their own pace, as opposed to the pace of a classroom. As it was mentioned, we now have 20,000 students. We're still growing over 30% a year. We have one of the five largest teachers' colleges in the country, and we're the largest provider of math and science teachers in the country. But that isn't the important statistic. What we really want in math and science teachers aren't just people who know math and science. It's people who will inspire our young people to go into math and science professions. And at WGU, we allow mathematicians and scientists to come back and be certified as teachers and to go into the classroom and teach students. The macro goal for WGU is that we want to change higher education by demonstrating a more cost-effective, high-quality approach using technology. The micro goal, though, is that we want to help individuals change their lives and better support their families. And I thought I would close with just a couple of examples. Tammy Torini graduated from WGU in November 2008 with a bachelor's degree in accounting. She lives in Mooresville, North Carolina. She says, this was the only way I could ever have gone to college with two kids at home, being a single mom 98% of the time because my husband works out of state, and working 30 to 40 hours a week cleaning homes. It was hard work, but for a determined person, it was a great experience. I received a job offer within a week of graduation. Imagine, in this economy, I'm over 45 and I had been out of the workforce for five years. Try it. You'll be glad you did. Lisa Santiago is an African-American uh, deaf girl from the Bronx who lived in a one-bedroom apartment with her mother had tried regular colleges, and she says, in her words, I was frustrated by the lack of support at other universities, such as professors not having time to meet, to clarify concepts, assignments, ideas, and tasks. However, I was determined to earn my degree and decided to look on the internet for an online college or university. Lisa is now a teacher at the Bronx School for the Deaf. Nozika Uganze originally from Nigeria and now a Texas resident, told her story of coming from a culture that did not encourage education of females. A mother of seven, three of whom, by the way, were in college while she was attending college, a homemaker, a full-time worker, began at WGU and then was displaced by Hurricane Rita, lost her home and all of her schoolwork. Her friends in Michigan, and in Utah, whom she had met online as fellow students at WGU, encouraged her to keep going and replaced the work that she had lost because they'd shared copies of things. And she pursued her commitment and graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in Elementary Education and is currently teaching in Texas. Peter Schenk received a bachelor's degree in marketing in May 2008. He lives in Salt Lake City. He started WGU when he was 22. He graduated at 24. During his time as a student, he worked two jobs to support his wife and himself. From those two jobs, he was making about $20,000 a year. He finished his degree just two weeks before his first child was born. Three months after graduating, he landed a job with the federal government in the Department of Veterans Affairs and is now making more than double what he was before graduating. And so the stories go. And that really is why we do education, because we have the opportunity, in particular at WGU, to take working adults who are not quite making a living wage and enable them to, have, to realize their dreams of a career and of a degree. Just a quick story about the individual in the video who did his studies from Iraq. He was studying to be a teacher. And at graduation, he related that he had always wanted to be a teacher. And when he was a little boy, 
he lined up the teddy bears and stuffed animals of his sister and pretended he was teaching them. Those are people we need to help realize their dreams. Thank you very much.